some quick tips on how to evaluate some of the bones of the wrist. The first bone we're going to evaluate is the scaphoid. And the way we do that is we have the patient extend and abduct the thumb. And you see this triangle that's made up of three tendons. The extensor pollicis longus, the abductor pollicis longus, and extensor pollicis brevis. Now they make up this triangle called the anatomical stuff, snuff box. And the way we can palpate the scalp scaphoid is by keeping that position and bring the thumb into that area and pushing down and palpating it. And that's the scaphoid. And if they have tenderness, they could have a problem, perhaps a fracture if they've fallen on their wrist. And you can see that right on the anatomy on the skeleton right here. The next bone we're going to evaluate is the lunate. And the way we, we find the lunate is by locating Lister's tubercle on the radius. And if you, you can see on the, the skeleton, there's a bony prominence here. That's Lister's tubercle. And we find that on the radius, which is about a third of the way across the wrist. And we slide our thumb distally into this little valley. And we can flex and extend the wrist a little bit. By flexing it, you can palpate the lunate. And you can see the lunate on the skeleton right here. The next bone is the triquetrum, which is on the ulnar side of the wrist. And the way we can palpate that is we find the ulna, we slide our thumb distally, and we can radial and ulnar deviate our, our wrist, and the, tr the triquetrum pops out at us. Okay? And if there's tenderness there, there could be a problem with the, with the triquetrum as well. And you can see the triquetrum on the skeleton on the ulnar side. Now let's turn the hand over to look at a couple of other structures, a couple of other bones. On the ulnar side of the wrist, if you find the ulna and you move just distally, you'll feel this pea-sized structure called the pisiform. And that can often be injured as well. But that also is a landmark for uh, finding the hook of the hamate. Now the way you do that is you take you can take your thumb or your index and you can slide about an inch toward the palm and you can palpate an area that tends to, tends to be tender on, on patients because, and they also may get a, uh, some paresthesias because the ulnar, part of the ulnar nerve runs near the hook of the hamate and that is an important structure as well. And you can see that on the skeleton as well. So those are some important palpable structures that we can uh, evaluate on the wrist.